Welcome back to the Loverfella Minecraft server, but today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. That is right. We are going to be judging my brother Loverfella's builds on the server today. We are going to start out by judging his original black pyramid base right here made out of what I believe is called blackstone. I'm in creative today so I can see, yeah, polished blackstone. So that's what he built the main base out of. And to be honest, guys, I have never liked this build. If I fly up, I just feel like it's super ugly. He could have cleared out this mountain right here. And over here, this is just an absolute mess. It's on fire. Um, so overall, this place has never been my favorite, but we got to give it a fair chance. So let's check out the inside. Now, when we come down in here, this room is actually pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed for him because usually he doesn't do pillars and stuff like this. So it actually looks pretty good and it's not very functional though. That is what I will say about it, even though it does have this crop automation harvesting system down through the middle. Now this right here though, this gets him an automatic score. Um, this is an automatic sorting system, which you know me guys, I have no idea how to do redstone. I don't even know how he built this thing. So right here, if this is all working, if this is only glass, okay, well that didn't seem to be working, but that is, that it, no? Well, it's got some kinks in the system, but the fact that he even attempted that gives him a point in my book. Now, he's got another portal right here, which is always good. And then in here is his potion brewing station. And I think this is actually a wonderful little area. I love how it's seamless with the outside. It's like you're outside and inside at the same time because he doesn't have a complete wall right here, which is a pretty cool feature if you ask me. Now, the one downside to Zach's build, I feel like, is the fact that he only used new blocks. Now, he was excited. We were starting a new version of Minecraft and all these blocks were brand new at the start of this server. So he wanted to use them, but I feel like he went a little too overboard because on their own, this is a great block. Whoops. And this is a great block and this is honestly not a great block, but when you put them all together like this, I feel like it just starts to become a little bit too busy for me. So overall, I'm not a huge fan of the block choice he used, but it is unique and we got to give him points for that. There is no other build on the server that looks like this. And of course, the other part to his main base is the automatic farm, which it doesn't really look like he's actually planting things anymore. It seems like he's gotten lazy like everybody else on the server. But you know what? This is pretty cool. He harvests everything and it goes down this water stream. And if we follow this down, it goes all the way into his base. I actually do like how this is unfinished because it makes it feel a lot more industrial. Like there's work getting done here. We don't have time to make it look perfect. Um, so this is actually pretty cool. I will give him some high. What is that a horse? There's just a horse downstairs in his place. I'm not a big fan of that, everybody. That seems kind of cruel if you ask me. Should I get PETA in here on him? Well, I've looked at just about everything in this base and it's about what I thought, but then I found this room and he has a torture dungeon down here for sheep. What is this disgusting place right here? I am not a big fan of this. Is this just automatically shearing the sheep forever? Ooh, it's disgusting down here, everybody. I need to get out of this place right now. That just feels wrong. Those sheep will never see the daylight. He just got him trapped down there. So overall, that is just a horrible place. And I think this used to be a mob spawner, but that's gone now. All right, so that was a pretty quick look at Zach's original base here. Now, overall, it is not my favorite. I, I just gotta be honest, because he has some builds we're gonna be looking at that I actually think are pretty good. But this base right here, I feel like he just never took the time to clean it up. Like, look at this. This could have all been a nice little area. This mountain could have been nice, but instead it feels like he was just too concerned with productivity and not enough with making it look nice. So overall, I give this base a 6.5 out of 10, but you know what? There's plenty more to look at, so let's go see the next build. All right, I felt like the perfect area to come next, because he's got a lot of builds on this server, was the Shopping District Mall. And of course he has these creeper slugs, which we can look at too, and the Chocolate Pop-Tart Bank. But let's start with the mall. Now, I think this is the Angry Bunny Mall, because that's what it looks like. But if you guys watch my series for a long time, you know I used to own this part of the mall right here, this little, this little shop right there. And you know what? He kicked us out of it, and ever since then, the mall has just fallen apart. Nobody uses it because he kicked out his only vendors, so... You know what? I just, I don't understand it, but overall the build is actually, it's a, it's a nice shape. I'll give him that, but it kind of reminds me of a church more than it does a mall. But overall, I would still give this build, especially when he finishes it, a solid 7.5 out of 10. I like the idea and he really stuck with his blackstone block and it looks a lot better without all those weird purple and pink woods that he has in his main base. I say that, but he's of course got the pink wood in here. He really likes these woods, guys. I mean, I think these are his favorite blocks in the game. This wood and then the blue one are Zach's favorite woods. 
So, you know, that, that wasn't his best build, but we come over to these creeper slugs, guys, and this is when he really started to find himself on the server. These builds right here, I look at them all the time when I'm up in my horse barn up there or my bee farm right there, and they are just incredible. This took creativity and it took some skill to build in pixel art because building with pixel art is not easy for everybody, including me. I actually suck at building with pixels. Um, it just, it's so tedious to me. I don't really like it. But we come in here and it's a nice little, he's even got a skeleton in here with two stores. So I'm actually a big fan of the creeper slugs. And I think there's a mama one back here. Oh no, no, this is the baby cave. That's what it is. And I like the slime detail going across the water. It functions as a bridge and it gives them a little bit more life. But man, these little, little baby creeper slugs, th these things are just creepy. I don't know what he was thinking. And it says, do not disturb. I mean, I don't remember what happened, but they did do something. Overall, I would give the creeper slugs an eight out of 10. These are by far the best build so far. So we gotta move on to the chocolate Pop-Tart bank, which is right up here. Now for this build, I just feel like he could have done it a lot better. Now it's, it's not bad, but he used an inferior flavor of Pop-Tart. We all know that Wildberry Pop-Tarts are the best Pop-Tart in the world. And if you're not from the USA, order yourself some Pop-Tarts online and get those things shipped to your house because Pop-Tarts will change your life no matter what flavor they're in but the wild berry specifically is what he should have gone with. Now, I will say though, you come in and it's very cozy in here. I like this wood a lot, and he's got the redstone feature right here that opens up a door when you rotate it, which is pretty fancy if you ask me. And then nice obsidian bunker, not easy to get in survival that has got to give him some points. But at the end of the day, it's just not a very big build and it didn't use the right flavor of pop tart so i would only give this a six out of ten although if he built this like i'm saying big and wild berry it could have been a 10 out of 10. we've now moved away from his base and the shopping area over there into my village that i built and let ben and lover fella move into so let's go ahead and check out one of his first buildings he built i believe this is the millionaire's club now from the outside this is actually a really cool building that would work in a lot of builds it's very modern and it's got a cool little shape where it's like offset on each side now in the right village this could have been an easy 9 or 10 out of 10. but in this village guys i don't know what he was thinking it's like this thing is a boat he just randomly put it here um it doesn't even make sense it has no support underneath so it has to be a boat it's just floating there it doesn't match any of the other buildings or the wall or the ships right here so it really threw me off when I first saw it. I'm not even going to lie, but let's go check out the inside. The inside is pretty nice if you ask me. He's even got a nice person at the door that opens the door for you. I will say though, for being the Millionaire's Club, it feels kind of not millionaire in here. I mean, there's kelp on the walls. It's just, it looks like it's a mess right here. Like a hoarder has decorated this wall. Um, but this bench right here is pretty nice. I will say that. And he has apparently free mobs, but they look like they've all been taken by people. And then up here, this is actually a nice little area. That is exactly the kind of thing I could see a millionaire having on their wall because why would they not want a giant saw blade running 24 seven right in the middle of their upstairs living room? I don't know. I'm not a millionaire, but that's what I feel like they would want. He's also got free food. Wait a minute. Oh, splash vision and night vision. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, up here, it's pretty good. And I do like how he has all this free stuff. I mean, there's free daily stores. Those are pretty hard to get. I'm not gonna lie. Those are like 20K a piece. So that is a good addition but I just don't feel like this build fits with the theme of anything here. He does have some dolphins hanging out underneath it. So maybe I need to shut up because if the dolphins like it, then I feel like I should like it. But overall, this build is going to get a seven out of 10 here today. It's not as best, it's not as worst. And in the right scene, like I said, it could have been even better. Now we move into his shopping, his actual shop right here, the End City, which is actually, you know, I used to hate this thing. I have multiple videos where I bash the way this thing looks, but the more it's been here, the more I like it because it's so unique, guys. Have you ever seen somebody use black concrete like this? I mean, that actually looks like the void. You can't even see a thing down there. It's pretty cool. I feel like he could have made it look more like the end by actually building the end tower and stuff, which, which definitely would have been cooler. But overall, guys, this is a pretty cool build, and I like the fact that you have to do parkour to get in here to actually purchase some things from him. Overall, I would give this an eight out of 10. One of my favorite things he's done, even though it's so simple, um, it's just, it's so unique. There is no build like this on the server and that's hard to do because we have like a thousand players on at all times. And if we move right behind that shop, we have another one of his builds. This area, it's the oddly satisfying museum that also connects over to his creeper farm. And you know what guys? This is actually a very good build from the front. Now right here, 
he didn't do very good. This should have been a quartz block with some like details in it, with some slabs and stairs, with some maybe some accents from different colors. But overall, I still like it. He's got my head up there, guys. So clearly, I'm going to like this one. And, you know, it's very clean when you walk in. It looks very intimidating as you walk up these staircases. And I just like the idea of this building because it is so satisfying to do everything he has in here. Harvest bamboo, sure. Go down this nice slide. Oh, look at that. It's so convenient. And we come down here and it's got a perfect pathway over to his creeper farm. And of course, he has a skeleton farm right here, which is a genius move and cave spiders. And while those are getting killed, you also can gamble at his casino. So overall for functionality, this was a really smart move by him. He managed to basically work everything into one area to get a bunch of players right here to do his work for him. And I believe right here is the creeper farm. Yep. And guys, he has gotten so much stuff from this. I don't even know what that stuff is right there. But overall, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10, actually, because this area is what got him all his money on the server. And I really respect that. He turned himself into a millionaire from just this room alone. And there's something to be said for that. I like how he integrated everything together. Um, it could definitely look better. And I know we're rating builds, but... He did have an objective to become the richest player on the server, and this was actually a pretty good build. This building looks good, and it drew people into his casino, and my face is on it. I don't know if that's why I rated it so high, but you put my face on something, guys, and I am definitely going to like that build. That's all I'm saying. And guys, a lot of you probably forgot this build even existed, but Zach did build this ice boat transport system a long time ago, but you know, me and Ben never really invested in it because he's so hard to ride on this thing. Look at that. It just gets you off track every time you try to ride on this thing. But it is a cool idea, and I know this ice... Oh, see, we overshot it right there. Um, we'll try to ride it all the way back, but man, this thing is so hard to steer when he doesn't have things to keep you on the track down here. I think that's why I never used it. Oh! All right, but anyways, he never really finished this project, but it was a cool idea, and if he had done it, it would have been a super amazing build. But where it stands now, it's just gonna be a five out of 10. He overcharged us to upgrade this thing, and he never really got it to a point where it was even functional at its base model right here, guys. So overall, a solid five out of 10 for this one. All right, everybody, that is gonna be it for today. I know he has some a uh, couple more builds, but you know we don't know exactly where everything he built was because he did a lot of house flips and stuff off camera. So I tried to look at the main builds he did on the server today. Let me know if you would have rated anything different and I will catch you on the next video.